and taking your call. Please continue to hold, and you'll be joining the show already in progress. You're tuned to the right channel, but you've got to pay to see America's most popular game show, Hangman. The show when you lose, you really lose. In other words, kids, we're talking that. You either win the $100 million or you get hanged. It's pretty simple here on Hangman. We don't mess around. Please continue to hold. Have your credit cards ready. We've only just begun, and you don't want to miss the rest of the highest rated show that all your friends and enemies are talking about. The show where people will do anything for cold hard cash. We're coming to you live from an undisclosed location, and we've got a special celebrity guest in store for you tonight. So you'd better call 1-800-PAVE-YOU-NOW before it's too late. So, Newt, you were correct on that first answer, and you've got $5,000 for that bit of execution trivia. <laughs> Next question. This one's worth $10,000. When a person is decapitated by the guillotine, the head... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That martini I had in the witness room must have gotten to me. Sorry, Janine. You'll have to give me an answer since you buzzed in. Uh... The head... Excuse me. Hey, hey, man. The head falls in. He that again. Shoot him. A basket. That may be right, Janine, but it doesn't answer the question, which is, when a person is decapitated by the guillotine, the head stays alive after it's been disconnected from the body. What is the longest recorded response time? Newt. Yes, the longest response time was documented by Dr. Jean-Claude Bureau. In 1905, when he experimented who with the head who? of Ling Wheel, who responded to his name being shouted several times over a 30-second period after he was decapitated. Newt's correct! <laughs> Let's see who gets this next one worth $15,000. At the English prison Newgate, in 1726, Catherine Hayes was burned at the stake for petty treason. The fashion at the time was to strangle prisoners as the burning commenced to make the death more humane. But Miss Hayes was burned alive. Why? Sister! The fire the executioner lit was so fierce, he, he couldn't pull the strangling rope. Yes! And Chester's on the board, tied with Newt at $15,000 each. As is common here on Hangman, Chester is a proxy player. And as a proxy player for Gordon Wicks, he will be entitled to 20% of his winnings here tonight. Our next question is worth $20,000, and Janine, you can take the lead in this. In 1874, William Marr would introduce the long drop process of hanging as a scientifically designed method of achieving a humane death. In which country of the world did this take place? Janine. New Zealand. That was definitely New Zealand. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Chester, do you have the right answer? Great Britain. Yes, sir! This guy really knows his execution trivia. Great Britain is correct! That bell means it's time to eliminate one of our three contestants. Whoever bids furthest away from the exact price of our funeral package goes home with a consolation prize. JC, tell us what they'll be bidding on to end round one tonight. You'll be bidding on a funeral package from the renowned Santangelo Funeral Home. This package includes their top-of-the-line casket, the C-107, lined with imported silk and featuring full lumbar support for the comfort of your dearly beloved. Also included are the embalming services, an imported Italian marble headstone with engraving, a special edition late model SUV hearse with state-of-the-art triple bass speakers, floral arrangements, and four-star <laughs> catering for 75 mourners. Thank you. Thank you, JC. Whoever wins this round gets $35,000. Let's start the bidding on this amazing package. Chester. $20,000 and $1. Newt. Uh, $24,000. And Janine. $18,500. Oh, no, 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 I mean $19,999.50. Oh, I'm sorry, Janine. You're only allowed one bid. We'll have to have the first one stand. Now, before we get to the part where we find out which of our contestants is closest to the actual price, it's time to bring out America's favorite girl, the very wonderful, the very talented, the very wild, Myra Thomas! <laughs> well, Myra, will you uh, show us the actual price of the package? 
$25,750. Just a new. You go on to round two. Oh, too bad for Janine. We hate to see anyone lose here on Hangman. But hey, that's why this show is number one. Because it's just like life, baby. And but it ain't all bad news for Janine. Because she's taking home a $500 gift certificate from the Van Nuys Earn Emporium. Who will get to the Hangman round? Who's in the lead with $50,000, but Chester has $35,000. And the winner of the next round gets another $50,000. It's up to our studio audience to decide. Who's it gonna be? And we're on to round two. Oh. Man, is he ugly. Today's corpse is being played by Phil, our catering coordinator. Myra, did you do this to him? Bob, I work in two dimensions, not three. <laughs> As you know, all of Myra's artwork that we use here on Hangman uh. is for sale. Just log on to the website, hangmantheshow.com, to purchase your favorite signed lithograph. Well, what horrible demise befell this poor guy today? Today's round two corpse is based on photographs of an accident from 15 years ago at the Lancashire exit off the 101 in Studio City. These particular injuries were caused when the victim's car was rear-ended and he was thrown from his convertible. Yes, his body and head smashed into a guardrail and bounced off, and then he was run over by a 72 Datsun pickup filled with lawn mowers, manure, and a weed whacker. <laughs> wow, this guy didn't fool around, did he? Well, contestants, I'm glad it's not me playing this round. Whew. Our makeup specialist has duplicated the accident injuries on both sides of the corpse. Chester and Newt. You have two minutes to make your side of the corpse presentable with the same makeup the pros use at Santangelo. Let's see what you can do. Chester, Newt, are you ready? Then begin. And now it's time to say hello once again to the man every government official is looking for and every warden in the country would like to hire our own personal executioner, the Hangman himself! Hangman, tell us a little something special about today's hanging. The uh, Italian silk hemp rope I ordered nine months ago finally came today. I spent all morning hand binding a 13 foot piece with a three quarter inch diameter. Then I wrapped it in chamois leather in the traditional method. Well, why do you do that? It avoids marking the skin. And what's so special about Italian silk hemp rope? Well, it's unique because the hemp itself is grown in the hills of Tuscany by a fellow artisan. I prefer this type of imported rope because it's both soft and strong with a far smoother surface, unlike domestic hemp, which is basically crap. Well, whoever makes it to the final round, be it Chester or Newt, I'm sure will appreciate your efforts. Recapping. Last show, Hangman got the record down to a brisk 8.2 seconds. I'll be trying to beat it tonight using the short drop. It'll take some precise measurements, but uh, I'll be ready. Come on, Nate. Throw some clothes on him. God, you're never going to beat this guy. Let's get the results of round two. Remember, the winner here moves into the final round where he plays for $100 million. It's all in your hands now. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. We'd like to thank Myra for all the great artwork. <laughs> and accident trivia that we use here on Hangman. I really enjoy it. Man, what are you doing with that thing? You're going to give someone a heart I'm attack. sorry, was that a little loud? <laughs> loud? Was it loud? <sighs> Witnesses, show us your card. Janine? No, no, no. There's no right in votes on Hangman. Chester Fibbing is our finalist for the Hangman Round. Don't feel too badly for Newt. We're sending him home with $50,000. Yes, sir, you just gotta love this show. Yes, indeed. Chester, it's time to make the big decision. Okay, now take your time. You've got at least 15 seconds here to make up your mind. 
Are you going to be a man and go all the way for the 100 million? Or are you going to wimp out here and go home with the measly $85,000 that you've already won? I'm going home. Are you sure about that, Chester? I'm not playing for the $100 million. What? What? What are you doing, Mr. you Gordon wimps? Wicks hired Chester Fibbing under our standard proxy contract, and it seems they have a disagreement now that Chester's made it to the final hangman round. Uh, you're seeing history here tonight. This has never happened before. What are you thinking? You signed a contract. You play for the hundred million and take a percentage. He added an addendum to the contract. What? I, I should still be able to choose. You agreed to play the entire game. You have no choice. I'll sue your ass. Go ahead. You know, I just realized that life comes down to a few important decisions. And this is one of them. Life is about crossing the finish line first. Stick to the plan. Gordon, you deserve that one hundred million dollars. I won't do I it. I paid for months of training for you on execution trivia. You said you wanted to be on television. We've just checked with our runner-up, New Chiselstone, who said he's ready to play if both Gordon and his proxy, Chester, decide to drop out. And Gordon, that addendum you added to our standard contract is not allowed. This is a volunteer show, boys. I never lose. You're pathetic. You know, why don't you play yourself? So long, Mara. Gordon, what's your decision? Now that Chester has decided not to continue, it's up to Gordon to play the final round. Is he up to the challenge? All right, everyone. We have a decision! <laughs> Going all the way, Bob. I deserve that hundred million dollars. Hangman, are you ready for another great moment in hanging history? Yep. Well then, Gordon, you're off with Hangman to be weighed and measured. Hangman's precision is key. If the drop is too long, the head pops right off the shoulders. If it's short, the contestant can dangle for hours. And while Hangman works his all-important calculations, it's time to bring out today's celebrity guest star. May I have a drum roll, please? Today's special guest is a 30-year veteran of film and three sort of successful TV series. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Craig Snickle. Oh, Craig, Craig, great to have you here. Thanks, Bob. It's so great to be here. You know, this is my favorite show, so it's great to finally be able to come on and compete. <laughs> well, great. Uh, uh, tell us who you're competing for today. Oh, today, Bob, I'm here representing the Tucumcari Children's Hospital. The word Cray will be competing for today was picked by little Sally Stein. At the Tucum Carey Children's Hospital. I know it well. Then you know what a good cause it is. <laughs> Hangman has attached the heart monitor. The beats you're hearing are Gordon's. Hangman's ready! Gordon, as this may be your final day on Earth, do you have any last... I'm gonna win, Bob. Hey, does this man have confidence or what? Everyone, give it up for Gordon! When this is over, I'm gonna crush that spineless asshole Chester. I'm gonna cut his eyeballs out and suck his fucking skull. This is always an exciting time here on Hangman. If Gordon wins, he's gonna make a killing. He'll get a hundred million bucks! Here on Hangman, if you win, you win big. Not like the money you win on those other game shows. But remember, like our motto says, if you lose, you lose big. Ooh. Hey, we're not gonna think about that. We got a game to play. The word tonight is reality. Okay, everyone at home and in our studio audience knows the secret word that Cray has chosen to compete with tonight. Actually, Bob was incorrect. The word was picked by 
little Sally Stein. Gordon, your first letter, please. I'll take an E, Bob. Yes! You've got one letter! W? No. I'm afraid that's incorrect. R. Yes! You've got two letters, Gordon. You're only five letters away from the one hundred million dollars! V? S. D. N. We're at the moment of truth, Gordon. If you make one more mistake, well, I hate to say it. I won't. I'll take an A. Yes! Finally! <laughs> Point one seconds, and that's a new record! It's all about the humane death here on Hangman. Reality. The word was reality. You know, I really thought he was gonna get that. Yeah, me too. Well, here on Hangman, the show when you lose, you really lose. But it's not all bad news, folks. It's great. You've won $50,000 for the Tucum Carey Children's Hospital. I can't thank you guys enough. Oh, it's our pleasure, Cray, and thanks for coming on. And we'll see you on TV. We'll see you on TV. Folks, that's it for this episode of Hangman. I'm J.C. Liverman. And I'm Bob Simons. Until the next pay view, start the bidding now for your chance to win $100 million. You deserve it. Remember, those witness room tickets go fast, and the three highest bidders get to be our contestants. Our minimum bid is $10,000 per folding chair, but you got to be in there to have your shot out here. So next time, get your cheap butts on to hangmantheshow.com and join the bidding. Promotional fees for Hangman were paid for by the this Santangelo Funeral This is called Hangman, Hangman America's, America's number one show the where you could live dies, or you could die for the dough. Now place your bids alone. and guess the questions like the quiz yes. before you become yes. lifeless. Yes. Spend your last days with your life familiar yes. before you go on a show. Execution yes. trivia, yes. get on your knees and pray to the yes. Holy One. You answer the question right under the gun. Hangman. You live or die, hey man, answer the questions right, hey man, you could be a millionaire, hey man, or it's the smell of death in the air, hey man, you put your life on the line, hey man, it's almost about that time, hey man, now it comes to end, hey man, hey man, it's chop the rope again, hey man, you live or die, hey man, answer the questions right. For contestants, narrow down to one You're sweating like your face in a barrel of a gun uh, Now, here goes your only chance That you yourself could defeat the hangman Another question, there goes your arm, your leg It's like your whole entire body fades <laughs> You answer wrong again Hangman, chop the rope, now that's the end